Mia Benz before and put me in a loft space and, you know, set my whole life up differently than what it was normally. And I feel like if you brought me to like this level and then we didn't work out, but we're still friends, you know, we don't, we didn't have beef and no one cheated. It was just didn't work out. Um, but I still, ex I, I wasn't going to move from my space because it didn't work out. I wasn't going to give him back my car because I'm not going to downgrade my lifestyle because me and you are no longer together. And I just feel like if you put me in this space and that was under your budget then, what's the difference now? You know what I mean? you were my girlfriend. I was f***ing you. Yeah, but I just... I was f***ing you. I just feel... Yeah, but I personally feel like, no, I'm not yeah, moving. Yeah, but see, <laughs> but see, what he did was this, though. He gave you the upgrade, but part of that upgrade is because you're with me. Yeah. You understand? So, so... Let me just go, though. So we didn't work out, me and you dating. You feel me? So I'm supposed to keep paying your loft and keep paying your bins. Had a guy get... What's up, everybody? Don't dispute a man here with a new video right before I get the video started. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. And also, don't forget to click on that notification bell on the top so you can be alerted when I upload a new video. So in today's quick video, I want to talk about um, a woman who went viral uh, in the past couple of days. Her name was Blue Jasmine. I don't know much about her. I didn't do a whole lot of research. I've seen the video uh, regarding how her ex still pays her bills. He still pays for the house that he, he got for her, even though the house is in, her, in his name. He got her a car, etc. He still pays her bills. She, she claims how uh, if she's not with a man, he should still fund her lifestyle. And i seen the, uh, the interview she had with Kevin Samuels. i seen the interview she had with uh, Fresh and Fit. And i seen the interview she had with MTR. Shout out to all three guys. Shout out to all three. Uh, for interview, interviewing this chick, even though she didn't de deserve the extra clout. But my opinion on the situation, and Kevin Samuels called it out, Fresh and Fit called it out, MTR called it out. Um, this woman is clearly finessing this guy. She's she don't like this guy. She claims how they was friends at first. That's when he got her the the, the car, and that, I guess when they got together, that's when he got her the house. After that. And she she don't like this guy. She she's clear, she clearly had this guy as an orbiter because she's using this guy. She's finessing him for, for whatever he's worth. I don't know how much this guy's making, but he makes enough money that he could support her. Um, my opinion is men should not be supporting women once the relationship or marriage ends. Once the relationship or marriage ends, that is it. The supply is get, it has been cut off. You cannot still support someone. She's pretty much pulling palimony on this guy. And she claims that uh, he, he, she can't get kicked out of the house. He, he's going to have to give her three to six months. This woman is living in, in a clown world. This woman really thinks that she's entitled to the house. She thinks she's entitled to the to, uh, to the car that he bought her. She thinks that she's entitled to she's still entitled to resources. And what makes makes the situation worse is that she got a whole new other man that she's with. That guy's a complete simp because I, I wouldn't take this woman seriously. I would just pump and dump, pump and dump. I would ski on her back and just leave. Ski on her forehead, hit her with the Simba, and just get out of there. Get out of Dodge. She got a whole new man. Obviously, her man feels some type of way about the ex still paying her resources. Um, this is the type of woman who you don't give attention to. This is the type of woman who you don't take seriously when it comes to relationship and marriages. Kevin asked her, do you see yourself being a wife in the future? She said, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I messed up the voice a little bit. But she said, yeah, I guess. This woman is not taking relationships or marriages seriously. This woman is completely, completely ran through. This woman is completely damaged to the point where of no return. This woman is a bona fide finesse. She's been a finesse since, since she came out of her mother's womb. I don't know how her mother was. Maybe her mother was a, a, a finesse too. Hey. Whatever women got to do to get the bag, that's on them. Me, personally, I don't really respect it because women don't understand. They waste their youth in their 20s. And, oh, one more thing when I'm done with my point. 
fact of the matter is, this woman is a bona fide finesser. She doesn't care about this guy. This guy's in, uh, this guy's a complete goof for even getting her a car and a house to begin with. Unless you was looking to marry this man, he shouldn't have got you anything. Not no car, not no house. He should have just been pumping and dumping you, skeeting on your back, and just getting out of Dodge. That's what he should have done. These women are entitled. These American women are the most entitled bitches on the planet. These women are entitled. These women feel like a man should just take care of them even when they're not with that guy anymore. She wasn't even giving him sex like that. But she claimed that she 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 was she's not using her body as a uh she not, she's not using her body as a way to get resources. Technically you are. Technically you are. Yes, you can get shit from guys without giving up sex. But you you're giving up sex eventually anyway. So you're pretty much exchanging uh sex for resources. So you're a prostitute. And one more thing. Another thing that pissed me off this woman already has a grown kid. I, I don't know how old the kid is. Maybe the kid is 18, 19, 20. I don't know. I believe this woman is in her 30s, I believe. This woman doesn't realize that when, when the war arrives, it's going to hit her like a freight train. And when it hits her like a freight train, she's not going to be as attractive as she was 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 15 years ago. She's not going to be as attractive anymore. So this woman can still go around finessing guys using them for their resources, claiming that they're friends when they really not. Friends don't use the other person. This is why I don't believe in friendship a whole lot. Because friendship, especially between men and women, are always one-sided. Always. Always one-sided. Because men, even though a man can, can be your friend, he still wants to have sex with you down the road. He doesn't want to just be your friend. So technically, it's a one-sided friendship. You're friends with him, but he's not really friends with you. He wants to have sex with you. These American women are entitled. He dated a single mother, which makes it worse. He dated a single mother. He bought this chick a car and a house. So now the, the new guy comes in and is now dating her. Stop dating single mothers, fellas. Single mothers are damaged goods. Damaged goods. These single mothers are the biggest damaged goods women on the earth. These are women who made poor decisions to bring a child into the world without the father around. And we're not talking about the fathers who pass away. We're not talking about the fathers who who's uh in a vegetative state. We talking about them. We talking about the men uh who knocked this chick up, tried to be a father, and she kept the father away from the kid, or the father simply didn't want to be be a father, and she had the kid kid anyway because she was selfish. This woman is damaged. She already has a fucking grown kid. Why would you want to take care of a woman and her grown kid? I'm sorry. Just pump and dump these chicks. These chicks are to be disposable. Not to be loved, not to be cared for. This blue jasmine chick should not be loved and cared for. She should be pumped and dumped. No, no woman is entitled to have her lifestyle still being taken care of by a guy that she's not dating anymore. Especially when she's not even giving up the peace leave. If she ain't giving up, giving up the peace leave, she's useless. If a woman ain't giving a man sex, she's useless. Period. That's what women are on this earth for. They are, they are on this earth to survive and procreate. We, we are on this earth as men to survive. We don't necessarily need to procreate. But, but men can spread these seeds all over the world. Women can't do that. Once they get pregnant, they have to incubate the baby for eight to nine months. And she has to heal up for an additional two to three months. That's a whole year that she has to take off until she gets her back blown out again. But this, this woman, Blue Jasmine, thinks that she's entitled to be wanted and done. You are not entitled to be wanted and done, sweetie. You're in your 30s. You have a grown kid. You are damaged goods. You are a finesser. Hopefully this guy takes his house and his car back. Do not give her no six months until she can get, until she can get out of the house. She probably got the new guy in that house, too. Don't take care of these women. Don't buy them houses. Don't buy them cars. Don't give them anything. They are not deserving of that unless they bring something of value. She claims she was spending money on this guy. I don't believe it because women don't really spend money on the guy unless she really, really, really likes him. Maybe she really did like him, but I don't see her spend that much money on him. She spent, probably spent some money on him, but not a whole lot. Not as much as he was spending on her, especially with the car in the fucking house. 
But fact of the matter is, these women are not entitled to be wanted and donned and taken care of even after the boyfriend leaves or the relationship doesn't work out. You are not entitled, ladies. You are not entitled to be taken care of by a man just because he has resources. His resources is going to be spent on himself or on the next woman who proves herself. Period. That's all I want to talk about uh, of this blue jasmine chick. She's, she is completely delusional. She's not that attractive. If you take away the lip fillers or the makeup, whatever other enhancements she had done to her body, she would go from being a current, even though people are going to disagree, but she would go from a current 8 to a 6 real quick. If you take off, take off the makeup and the enhancements and the lip fillers, whatever else she had done to herself, she would drop down to a 6 immediately. She is not that attractive. Period. So that's all I want to talk about in today's video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to click on that notification bell so you can be alerted when I upload a new video. Don't simp over these women, fellas. These women are not worth your time, energy, or money, or your resources. Just pump and dump, ski, ski, and delete, um, ejaculate and evacuate, get the hell out of there. These women, these American women are not worth it. She's a finesse, and she's going to regret it when she gets older, when, when no man wants her anymore. So peace out.